Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh So we're standing outside uh, again Maghrib is, uh, is very close uh, It's the end of the 11th day uh, of Ramadan uh, We entered the middle third of Ramadan Which is where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, gives forgiveness to his slaves What I want to talk today about is about a thought that came to my mind uh, Because of a situation I was put in or maybe I put myself in uh, I was walking in downtown um, a few weeks ago, then I found this old man who's handing out pamphlets. So I stopped by, I pick up the pamphlet, uh, and he turns out to be a Christian missionary. Um, he's a very old gentleman, so I stand with him, and we start having this interesting, uh, beneficial conversation. I learned a lot. Uh, I hope he learned something from me. But just before we departed, um, he, uh, the, conversation, the conversation turned a little uh, tense, and he started uh, saying to me, oh, you Muslims, you should leave uh, this land, you should go home, this is not your country, uh, you are here uh, with a hidden agenda, you, you want to apply Sharia law and whatnot. Um, I don't know, accusing me of, you know, that I, I'm here to establish Khilafa or, uh, or maybe chop hands or, or whatnot. Um, this is a very interesting situation. It's not the first time that I've been in it. Um, and I know a lot of uh, other Muslims have been in it but the interesting thing is that you know in Canada there's about uh, 600,000 Muslims on conservative estimates in BC there's about 60,000 Muslims and we're fully integrated in society according to a research uh, Muslims are the second uh, religious group with the highest education a lot of us are engineers um, uh, obviously, the man was pretty shocked when, when he knew that I'm a university graduate, I have an engineering degree. He's like, wow, that's impressive. But that didn't change his mind about anything. Um, the thought that came to, mind, to my mind is that what are we doing wrong or what's the thing that we're not doing right uh, that will allow for such a gentleman to come and tell me this um, or, for other, uh, or for other encounters that happen between uh, or with Muslims uh, in the community. Uh, I remember a hadith that Rasulullah has told us is that مَنْ كَتَمَ عِلْمًا أَلْجَمَهُ اللَّهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ لِجَامًا مِنْ Whoever hides a certain knowledge, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will put a lijam on him. A lijam is basically the rope that you tied the horse with it when you want to uh, control it. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will put a lijam uh, on him uh, from fire on the day of judgment. This shows the importance of sharing knowledge is that when someone comes and asks us about Islam uh, we could uh, explain to, to that person uh, what is it really about. Um, I just want to hear your comments about what are some of the reasons that why these situations are still arising uh, even here in Canada in this multicultural society. Uh, uh, other than that, I wish you the best uh, Ramadan, I wish you the best fasting, I wish you the best iftar. Wa jazakumullahu khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Thank you.